who is ready for summer. If you are, then join me for some outside cleaning, inside cleaning. We are going to be transforming our back patio so it's our perfect summer oasis. I'll be sharing some budget friendly patio decorations, some deep cleaning, and then I'm gonna be sharing with you all of my Amazon favorites and must-haves. So there's a lot jam-packed into this video, so let's get to it. Hello everyone, I hope you're ready. I feel like I say that in every video, but I mean it. I hope you're ready. There is so much in today's video. It is finally summer. I guess not real summer, but it's almost summer. The weather is warmer and one of our favorite things to do is sit on our back patio. So we are gonna be doing some deep cleaning, on our patio, adding a little bit of decor, keeping in mind a budget, not going too crazy, and just making it our own backyard oasis. Ultimately, a fun space for the kids to hang out in the summer and for Mike and I. And then I'm also gonna be sharing with you all of my Amazon favorites and must-haves from the first part of the year. So think like January through April. So lots of deep cleaning, inside and outside, decorating, and then Amazon favorites. Please do not judge me for her bedroom. She will be cleaning it up this weekend. It's one of those times that I'm gonna grab her bedding and just shut the door until she cleans it up. It was a perfect warm spring day to choose to go outside and clean. And I don't think I've introduced myself. Um, so welcome to Jamie's journey. I always wanna welcome you guys here. And if you are new here, you might be wondering who is Jamie? So I am 36. I'm a 36 year old mom of three girls. I'm married to Mike. He is a senior financial analyst. He is my high school sweetheart. We have been together since we were 15, dating straight through college, high school, college, and so on. We have three daughters, a seven-year-old, and then three-year-old twins. I guess part of my story is I struggle with infertility um, due to polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS. So that coupled with a little bit of male infertility, we struggled to get pregnant with all three of our girls. Um, and with our oldest, we just had to take some fertility meds with the twins we had to go through IVF we even had a failed transfer it was so devastating um but we are just so grateful and thankful to have them in our lives and I just want here on my channel to build a community and I want you to feel like you are a part of this this community this is not my channel it's all of our channel you belong here and I want to show you that I am not a perfect person I all I do is I try my best every single day. This community has gotten me through some hard times throughout infertility, throughout my twin pregnancy, and I just hope I can give back to you guys in some way. I want to be there for you guys in the hard times, so I would love to have you guys subscribe and join this crazy journey of mine, cleaning, decluttering, organizing, easy meals, simple meals. I don't like to cook, uh, fitness and health. That's kind of my, those are my interests. And we're also moving. We're currently building a house which we're moving at the end of the year so there will be a lot more fun adventures so stay tuned and thank you for being here Then it's quiet 
So to clean my stove top, it really wasn't too bad and I just wanted something really quickly so I could get outside. So I sprayed it with some Dawn Power Wash and then I took some hot or paper towels with some hoop and I soaked them in hot water as hot as I can stand on my hands. And then I laid them on the stove top for about like a few minutes and then I scrubbed it all off. Um, there were still some burnt marks on the glass cooktop stove so I used this Scotch Bright cooktop stove sponge which I will have linked in the description and that took away all of the other burnt on marks. So today's video is actually a huge collaboration with Joy from Organize with Joy. Joy is a professional organizer from Austin, Texas. And on her channel, she has a lot of videos on cleaning, organizing, decluttering. And what personally attracted me to her is her calm and soothing personality. When I watch her videos, I feel like I belong there. She's motivating and inspiring. Her videos are soothing and motivating at the same time, which I love that dynamic. And I think it's really cool. She's married and has three adult children, 25, 21, and 18. So a little bit of a different time in my life, which I think is really cool. Um, she can offer like so many different things to you guys um, if you're not in the trenches of young kids like I am. She is filming a huge attic clean out and organization video so I will have her channel and her video linked in the description and if you go over there make sure you can't tell her you came from my channel. I promise you guys will love her channel. Go over there and say hi. So here I was just focusing on moving all of the furniture off of the patio. I wanted to power wash the patio from the winter. And then I also wanted win winter, winter, <laughs> winter, and then power wash the rug. All of this stuff, you know, survived the cold Northwest Ohio winters, snow, ice, crazy winds. So it feels good to finally remove everything and give it a good deep clean. And I will have the power washer linked in the description as well. So one of the ways I get motivated to start cleaning around my house is to watch cleaning motivational videos. And I'm assuming that you guys are the same because you're here watching this video. And I know you meet, may need videos on other days of the week because you can't clean on the days that I post or maybe you don't want to clean. So I wanted to introduce 
you got to you guys some other girls who have great channels there are so many amazing youtubers that make cleaning videos like mine and i have teamed up with a bunch of them so you get joy's video my video and then all of these other wonderful ladies it's all of um some of my favorite girls favorite channels and we are making a cleaning motivation playlist for you guys this week the playlist is linked in the video's description and i encourage you to play this playlist kind of look at it as a cleaning marathon and you can use it to clean whenever you clean this weekend we know Memorial Day is coming up and you probably have even more cleaning to do, you know, this week or this weekend. So you'll get a big cleaning motivation, cleaning marathon from lots of different women. There will be new videos added to the playlist each day this week. There's actually already videos in this list, but I'll also list the channels um, of the girls along with the playlist down in the description box so you can go ahead and subscribe to their channels. And if you're new here, then I hope you love this video. I hope you love my content and um please introduce yourself down in the comment section so i can get to know you a little bit better because like i said this community is important i want to know who you guys are i'll also explain a little bit more about what we have going on who i am and our plans for a new house later on in this video Today, if you're wondering, I filled up the bucket with cold water and then Dawn dish soap. So that's how I clean my windows. But if you guys notice how close the houses are um, behind us, that is one of the biggest reasons why we decided to move along with also having a crazy HOA homeowners association we have like super strict rules and restrictions in our HOA and we just cannot wait to move um I think I've said this before but Mike and I we're not like big travelers we're kind of homebodies we love just like sitting at home like the perfect summer afternoon summer evening is just being outside with our kids letting them play popsicles ice cream spring the sprinkler on bathing suits and then the kids go to bed and mike and i hang out in the backyard with a fire some snacks a drink and that's our oasis that's what we want more than anything so with this new house we will have a lot more privacy and there's actually a pond it's a retention pond behind our yard so we will have a lot more privacy in our backyard and we are just excited girls Hi. how was school good who'd you play with um i played with friends you play with friends okay. did you learn about bees uh, i know we learned about bees today okay So here I was just quickly wiping down the baseboards around the slider door, tracking. I've noticed that the windows are getting 
super dirty as the kids are playing outside because you know like they have sunscreen on so they're touching the windows and the slider door like around there is getting like really dirty because the kids are coming in and out so i was wiping it down this is the scrub daddy eraser it's newer i find that it's a little bit more durable than a regular magic eraser i still love the magic erasers but i like this scrub daddy eraser better it also has a sponge on one side so i think that's kind of nice but i was using that to wipe down the um like around the door and uh the window tracking and all of that and then i was going to clean the window with sprayway foaming glass and mirror cleaner All right, just something random to throw in here if you guys are new. I don't like any condiments. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, barbecue, ranch, like literally none of that I don't eat at all. I don't even like the way they smell. When I eat a hamburger, it's lettuce, onion, and tomato. If I make like a turkey wrap at home for lunch, I'll just add some lettuce and avocado. Like I don't like any condiments and like two dressings i like a vinaigrette and an italian i know that's so weird but i just thought i'd share if you guys are new just a little bit about who i am and a like a weird quirk we are ready to finish up this patio we have mulch we have flowers i have a little bit of like patio decorations um, this is like a new aha flavor that I just got. It's the pineapple passion fruit, pretty good. I still think I pre prefer like the raspberry kind. So Mike and I really quickly, while Avery's playing with some friends, twins are napping, we're gonna try to finish up this patio for the summer. I will try to have everything linked below that I can link, but I will tell you most of this stuff I did not buy this year. I don't like to buy things, like once I get things away to the way that I like it, that's how I keep it because it's too stressful for me to keep decorating. So like, for example, the patio furniture is no longer available. It's from Overstock. The rug was from Home Depot two years ago, out of stock. The fire pit, out of stock from Hay Needle. It's a gas um, fire pit. We got that two years ago. The pillows are from two years ago at Target. Most of these things are not available, but the few things that are, I will link anything that I can in the video's description. Okay, so I saw these online at Walmart. And I was like, mm, I was like going back and forth because like I said, I don't want to spend a lot of money since I know we're going to be moving and who knows what will translate to the new house. You guys know what I mean? So I was hesitant to buy these. They were $38 a piece. And I was like, oh, that's kind of a lot if you get two. Um, but I decided to order them and I knew I could just take them back, obviously, since it's Walmart and they far exceeded my expectations. I love them, they're pretty, I think they look great out here. And because they're fake, I know that I'm gonna be able to use these at the new house. I think they'll probably look good on our front porch, um, but then even on our patio. So I think it's gonna work and they're really, really great quality. Um, there was actually some bigger ones as well. So I'll have these linked below as well as um, the taller ones in the description.
So sometimes if we don't have the fire going, um, we'll want to light a citronella candle, one that repels mosquitoes. And I was looking online and they can be like kind of pricey. Um, like small ones can be kind of expensive. So I found this one from Walmart. Again, Walmart coming in the clutch. And I liked the little design. It's huge. It burns up to 50 hours and it was $5 for this tub of citronella candle. That was really nice, like a good price for the product. more do you like the marshmallow or the chocolate or the graham cracker marshmallow yeah hey, you addison what do you like the most about your s'more chocolate. the chocolate what about you avery marshmallow marshmallow you and emery Okay, so I think last time I shared some of my Amazon favorites, it was like maybe in December. So it's like, I think we're due for an update and what I've bought from Amazon that I've absolutely loved. And you know, like I was like scrolling through some of my Amazon orders and I was like, mm, I'm not gonna add that in. They don't wanna see that, but I'm like, but I would wanna see that. So like, for example, I have a cup that I use for the girls. And it's like, if someone had toddlers, I would want them to share something as basic as a cup that they've been loving because it would benefit me. So all of the stuff that like I would repurchase right now, again, I included in here. So we're gonna share it and hopefully you guys like this. Okay, and don't mind if you can hear the monitor on the twins or everyone's sleeping right now except for Mike. Um, but okay, so I got two of these bra camis or whatever you want to call them. I got two. I got like this in the pink color and then a black one um, over here. So I got these meal prep containers. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you've probably seen me use them, but I've been using these a ton lately. I've been using them for the girls to make meals, uh, meals to meal prep for myself throughout, throughout the week. So they're just, they're awesome. Okay, so I got this. I went to a bachelorette party, I think it was in January. It was in New Orleans and I needed a jacket and I wanted something, I'll try to insert a picture of me wearing it. So I wanted a jacket that was sort of, because most of my jackets are more purposeful. I mean, I live in the Midwest, it's cold. And so it's more like heavy coat type of thing. I have some light jackets, but nothing that is like kind of cute. And I knew in New Orleans in January, it was gonna be where I didn't need like a full on jacket, but I knew it was gonna be cool. So I got this, it's like a bomber jacket, but I love the green color. Okay, so first off, <laughs> Um, these joggers. Now I have like the draw, I should probably just take the drawstring out. But these joggers are the best, you guys. Like, the best. I've had them for years, like probably like three years. And I absolutely love them. They're so soft. I don't even know if you can like see the material, but I have them in black. I think I have three or four pairs in the black. I have this maroon or whatever color you want to call it. Um, but they're just, they're the best. They're soft, they're comfortable, and I would repurchase these a million times over. So they're so comfortable. And I think for Christmas, I got Mike the Viore. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. The Viore brand. Um, and people say that these are a dupe for them. These are like $12, $15. 
and the Viore ones were expensive. I had no idea what I was gonna get Mike for Christmas. And since he works from home right now, um, he's wear he wears like loungewear, and I'm like, I have no idea what to get him. I'm gonna get him some Viore uh, joggers, and he loves them, but they're expensive. And I just can't pull the trigger right now on them, even though people rave about them. And right now, these are doing the trick for it. So, love these joggers, and then I love this, turn it around for you guys. There's padding and it's just comfortable. I like how it's like a little bit longer so you could wear this as like a shirt <laughs> if you wanted to. Um, like if you're working out going to the gym like you could wear it like this so. And I love the crisscross detail in the back. I love my sleep mask. Um, it gets pretty bright in here, especially in the summertime when it gets light early in the morning. And these are great. I've been using like a really old sleep mask for a while, but these are so great. Um, you can see they're kind of contoured to your face and to your eyes, and they really black out almost all light. And they're really tight, like not uncomfortable tight against your, your face and your eyes. Um but I, they're a pack of three. There's a black pair that I actually have in my nightstand over there. So they came in a pack of three, which is really, really great. And like I said, like I wear them every single night and they're completely contoured to my face and they black out all lights. So they're really, really great. Um, this is a carpet rake. Can you hear that? Doesn't that just sound so great? Um, if you've been watching my cleaning videos, you guys know that I use this on, um, my stairs uh but it's just great to get into the like specifically with the stairs i mean you could use it anywhere but specifically like on stairs or like in the corners like it gets all up into there so like if you were cleaning your baseboards like look at it's getting right up there against the baseboards but in the stairs sometimes i'll see crumbs up against like the stair like right here and this gets into the grooves and pulls everything out before you vacuum and if you've watched my cleaning videos before I will like rake the stairs and then vacuum and I'll have like clumps of like dust and fur and things like that okay, so this isn't a bag <laughs> um but it is an it is an ice roller <laughs> so I keep it in the freezer so it's like nice and cold and I roll it on my face in the morning because I'm always really really puffy I don't know what it is but I'm always puffy and so when I wake up in the morning and I'm extra puffy, mainly when I haven't slept very well, I'll like do this. I feel like it helps to puff. And it feels really, really good. It feels really soothing. And I feel like it'll feel even better in the summer. But like I'll hold it right here under my eyes and I just roll it and it feels, it just feels really, really good. The other thing are these cups. So these are kind of like transitional cups. So I, with like sippy cups with the girls. Um, so Avery just uses a regular cup. The twins are out of obviously bottles or like sippy cup type of cups. And I don't like straw cups because we lose the straws. Like I hate it. Like I can never figure out where are the straws. They get lost. Um, they get broken. And I, I hate cups with straws because there's so many pieces. So the reason why I like these is because it's lit and, and they don't match. I, the other ones are in the dishwasher and they don't match because the twins just, they grab whatever cups they want. And so they don't match. But so it's like this little cup right here. So you could, like sometimes Avery will just drink out of this cup. Um, and then it has like a nice little lid that like seals on. And so it's virtually spill proof. I mean, if it did fall over, there could be some liquid that would come out of that little spout um but like even if it does fall over it would have to fall on the right side and then a, not a lot of liquid comes out okay the next thing are these shoes um i love them so much and they were so comfortable that i got them in two different colors so i wore these in new orleans for the bachelorette party that i was talking about and i walked all over the city and they were that comfortable like my feet did not hurt at all and then I got these recently. They're so cheap, you guys. Like, I don't even know the price, but they're like $15. And they're, like, it's not like a super, super high heel. But I've been wearing both of these so often. And like I said, they're comfortable. I feel like it's the perfect heel height. It's not too high for me. I feel like I'm pretty short. Um, so it gives me a little bit of heel, but not where it's uncomfortable. 
and they're a great price point. So and they have so many different colors. These ones are like a little like velvety, if that makes sense. Like I don't think you can see it on camera. It's like a little velvety and these almost look like like a leather. I mean, they're not real leather, obviously, but like more of like a leather, um, but they're so comfortable. Okay, so this is a pillow. <laughs> this makes me feel so old, but my, I've been having trouble sleeping at night. My neck has been hurting. I'm a stomach sleeper, and so I lay straight on my stomach, and then my head is turned to the side, and I got to a point where every day I was waking up, and my neck hurt so bad, and I just kept thinking, okay, it's just a bad night of sleep. You know, that happens from time to time, but it was every night and it got to a point where I could barely move my head. And after a while, I was like, okay, I need to get a new pillow. But the problem with the new pillow is you're like, I could buy a new pillow and spend X amount of money and it could not work. And so it's hard to pull the trigger because you're afraid it's not going to work. But I just got to a point where I'm like, well, I have to try something. I went on Amazon and this one got the highest ratings for stomach sleepers and it works you guys so um like you lay down and it's kind of like that memory foam type of material um but the way it's contoured you can lay down stomach sleeper i mean like a stomach and a side sleeper it works it's great my neck does not hurt anymore so and i think that when i read the description this is good for different types of positions so if you're having trouble with your neck, give this pillow a try. And then I think I shared this in my last Amazon or one of, I've shared this in a video before, but this was just on it. I took it off. It's a silk pillowcase. And they say this is great for your skin and your hair. I got this from Amazon. And so I keep this on there as well. Okay, so the next thing, this is like a little USB drive for your phone, but it's for photos. So I think I asked in a recent video, like how do you back up photos or how do you back up pictures other than like hooking it up to your computer and doing an external hard drive. And I had people tell me that they make USB drives that plug into your phone. So this plugs right into my iPhone. I have an iPhone, plugs right into there, like where you charge it, and then it backs up all your pictures. So I thought that was pretty cool and makes it so easy that you don't have to hook up your phone to a computer, to an external hard drive to back everything up. So if you're looking for something just to back up your pictures, this is perfect for that. This is a game we got for the twins. They love The Floor is Lava. They love playing that game in general. There's um, a song on YouTube that they like to play. And so I found this game. Actually, I think someone told me about this. I got this for the girls, the twins for their birthday and they love playing it. It's called The Floor is Lava. And it's just like a fun game that we can all play as a family. And then the last thing is a weighted blanket. I am a horrible sleeper. I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel before, but you guys, sleeping is one of my biggest hurdles. I am just a bad sleeper. I have a hard time falling asleep. I have a hard time staying asleep. I finally figured out a good system and a good like routine and supplements that seem to be working for me, but a weighted blanket has helped tremendously. I do not suffer from like anxiety or anything like that because I think I've heard people say that a weighted blanket can be great for anxiety. I personally do not suffer from anxiety. It's just sleeping. Um, so if you suffer from anxiety, give a weighted blanket a try because I've heard great things about it. If you suffer from sleep problems, I mean, I don't know if it's just this or if it's a combination of what I've been doing, but let's just say I am a different person right now because I've been getting a full night. I've been falling asleep and I've been staying asleep and this is a piece of the puzzle, a weighted blanket. And I, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Amazon favorites. If you guys enjoy seeing my Amazon favorites, please let me know in the comment section because I don't know what you guys like to see. If you guys don't like seeing it, like I won't share it. Um, but if you guys like seeing it, please let me know because I will maybe do this quarterly. I'll continue to do it quarterly and show you um, like the, the top things, the things we like buying and the things that seem to work for me because I like seeing it and I'm sure you guys do as well. So please let me know and thank you guys so much for being here, for sticking around. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. I really do. I hope you have a wonderful day and night and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.